before we're recording, you had mentioned um, there, there's a drug right now, and and there are people that have done a study, but they don't want to publish the study because they're they're worried about what's going to happen when the results get out there. Talk about. To talk about the drug. Talk about what's going on there. Well, it's, I almost can't remember which of the many examples it is because there's so many out there. But I think I was referring to the story of atrazine, which That's is right. a uh, weed killer. And it's used ubiquitously. I mean, it, the chemical shows up in a kernel of corn, shows up in soybean, which, of course, shows up in all our processed food. So um, atrazine is a hormone disruptor. And the guy who found this out, who was doing a lot of the research on this, was actually hired by the company that produces atrazine. And they told him he can't publish it. He actually found the famous atrazine frog study. He, oh, yeah. Have you heard of this? Yeah, they, yeah. Like converted the gender. Yeah, they changed the gender, yeah. Changed the yeah, gender. I, yeah. And so how do we as health professionals ignore that body of research Watch infertility rates skyrocket. Watch the age of puberty go down every year by a week and a half. It's now years sooner than it was half a century ago. Watch sperm counts go down by 50% over the last five decades. Mm. And not be intellectually curious about this poison that is known to have hormone disrupting properties. And I got like another 10 on in addition to atrazine. Atrazine is one example. There are others out there. This is what we should be studying and talking about in academic medicine. That's right. Not how to find a bat coronavirus in a cave in China and bring it to a lab. And what are we? That that's I mean, crazy. That's what we were finding. That's what the NIH was focused on, and we only found out about it because of the COVID pandemic. What are these people doing, right? How about studying school lunch programs instead of putting every young kid on Ozempic? That's right. Right? How about studying the environmental exposures that cause cancer instead of the chemo to treat it? I mean, we have got to start talking about general body inflammation, food as medicine, and the root causes of so many of these chronic diseases. Yeah, it's so good. Hey, if you liked this, then watch my full episode right here. 